Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a new series where we're going to analyze uh, level 60 a piece of equipment. So from the regular monsters. Uh, so we're not going to talk about uh, some of the newer monsters like um, Arctic, Arctic Flippers. Uh, what's the other one? Serpent Gladiator and ne Necrosis. Yeah, those three are really hard to get. So we're going to talk about regular monsters. We're not going to talk about champion gear also. Uh, and a lot of questions from, from players, from viewers is... Uh, so why are some piece of why are some piece of equipment part of like a standard mix set? So obviously you look at my mix set, and some people will add different uh, mix sets. They'll have like the Frostwing Greatsword. They'll have um, the Tacets Storm Tacets, I guess, from the Title Titan. They'll have like three cups, or they'll have like. Uh, two cups and a burning scrolls or they'll add like a cup a ring and a burning scrolls some people will add the codex in there so that's why i want i want to do this this analysis i want to go through every single piece of level 60 gear um, and i want to basically look at why we choose one piece over the other and uh, why how you guys should look at this when you make your choice of what you want to forge and what you plan um, to progress your account. So let's go straight in the cabinet and let's go look at the uh, Bumble Elm. Uh, it is obviously in the helmet section. We're gonna look at it at a purple grade um, because most free to play players will have either like a blue or a purple. Obviously there's some free to play older ones, more efficient ones. Um, or more active ones that have like a gold um, a gold bumble M, maybe a couple ones at mythic, but most of the players will be in the blue to purple range. So first of all, uh, bumble M, what is it good for? Uh, when we say it's for a mix set, obviously you see the cav attack, the range attack, so a dual uh, stats. So obviously that's usually good for mix. Um, and then you have the army HP, which obviously works for all types. So infantry range and cav as well as siege, but we're obviously going to ignore siege because it's such a small portion. And even for HP siege is in the back line. So it's usually not going to be an impact like for siege defense and HP does not really matter. Attack would matter a little bit, but since you never have a lot of siege units, it's usually like insignificant. So we're not going to talk about that. So when we're going to go through different type of equipment, whenever we see siege attack, we're simply going to ignore. So um, at purple level, purple grade, we basically have a total of 38% attack total. And we have basically 39% HP. So 13% cav, 13% range and 13% infantry. Um, usually we're gonna look at this and we're gonna compare that to other level 60 helmets. So um, aside from champion, which we're not gonna talk uh, because it's, a, like I said, it's a different beast. It's really harder to get for free to play. Uh, we're gonna compare it to the beast town and we're gonna compare it to the Jade Worm Cornet. Uh, and people are gonna say, well, the Cornet is a blast item. It's only for range. I agree with that, but the thing is, and keep that in mind, guys, is, is that it's the total stats that we want to look at. Because at the end of the day, if we, let's say, for instance, the Cornet had more stats than the, um, than the Bumble Elm, we could always uh, play around with the rest of our gear to balance things out. And you can also play with your talents to balance things out. So that's why we're going to look at it. Uh, aside from that, there are... Um, there's really one more that we could look at, but like I said, the Serpent Elm from the uh, Serpent Gladiator it is really hard to get. As you can see, I don't think I, it might be the only piece of equipment I tried with this, uh, and I cannot even get it to gray. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check before I say anything, but it is uh, one of the newer monsters. I think it's the last one we've had. Uh, maybe I started on the blade. Did I do that? <laughs> not even the blade and as you guys know me i only do level 60 i don't want to do subpar equipment so so ever since that monster has been released with all the huntings that i've done the gill gift 
the various chests I got, not that not that many, and as well as Forge Supply, I cannot even build uh, a <laughs> level 60 piece, piece of equipment at gray grade. It is that difficult to level up. So we're not going to talk about it, but obviously it has some good stats. Um, if it was easier to get, uh, let's go back to purple. I mean, um, it has some good attack stats. It only has infantry HP and it has army defense. Now, I know people don't like defense and I don't like defense, but there's still some value to that 15% army defense. Remember, it's infantry defense, it's cap defense, it's range defense. So that would total about 40, uh, 47%, something like that. Um, yes, that, that, that's not insignificant, but it is not as good at 47, uh, as let's say 47 percent HP. Uh, so we're, we're just going to ignore it. Uh, if you guys are pay to play and you say, well, I, I buy that back. I, I understand that, <laughs> but we're going to analyze this from a free to play perspective. Okay. So let's go with the Bumble Elm and then let's compare it to the Beast Elm. So first of all, one thing we uh, need to get out of the way is that you need 10 rares for the Bumble Elm as well as 10 rares for the Beast Elm. Now when we're going to compare it with the Cornet, it's only 6 rares. So uh, there's going to be some difference. So let's go right away. Let me pull up that little chart that I did. So as you can see, the Bumble Elm as 38% total attack, so 19 plus 19. You compare that with the Beast Elm, and it's 35%. So obviously with the attack, the Bumble Elm is better. Total HP, 39%. So it's 13, 13, 13. And then you compare that with the total HP from the Beast Elm at 28.5, which is 9.5 times 3. And then the cost is basically the same. So you need 850 gray uh, rares, which total to 3.3 gold. So obviously with the same effort, uh, you get better stats from Bumble Elm. So people are going to say, well, you get travel speed with Beast Town. True. It gets your troop faster, brings them faster to your, to your castle and then deploy faster. But, uh, when you fight, it has no impact. So obviously you want the, the combat stats. You're going to look at this. So head to head, the Bumble Elm wins. Um, the other thing you, uh, the difference is that uh, the Bumble Elm, you can get the Queen Venoms from uh, from the Tycoon, from the Bargain Store. Uh, usually every other Bargain Store is going to be there. That's it's the main way to, to level up that item. Uh, you can also get them from, obviously, uh, Queen Bee Chest. You can get them from uh what what they're called uh monstrous chest and monstrous crate uh same thing with the beast down except that it's not tycoon uh it's obviously it's it's going to be with the labyrinth uh but otherwise they're the uh, they're available in the same places sometimes in the bargain store not as much though uh so that's why when you good when you look at this you want to prioritize the bumble bumble elm now let's go and look at the cornet. So obviously at the same grade, so you think about it, you say, well, one of them is 10 rares, the other one is six. So you would expect the Bumble M to be better. <laughs> and obviously you're right. So the total attack, it's way better on the Bumble M. We're talking about 70% more. You also get 15% more HP, total HP. Uh, because it's an army HP on the coronet and the uh, attack is only for range and you get total 13% defense. So obviously that 13% defense does not make it up. Um, the difference is obviously it's going to be easier to get the coronet to purple compared to the Bumble Elm. Uh, only two gold, basically five, 10 grays, which is the equivalent of about two gold, a little bit under two gold. Um, the Coronet is available, well, the, the Jade Worm, the Orbs, available in the Login Gifts, uh, the Daily Login. It's also available in Labyrinth. It's available in the Monstrous Crate, Monstrous Chest. You also get four chests 
on a daily basis. So that's why the Coronet is not that bad. It's going to be easier for you guys to get it to purple. Now, if we want to compare with a gold Coronet, is the Bumble M better than a gold Coronet? Let's look it up. And yes. <laughs> So at gold grade, uh, you still get more attack from the Bumble Elm, total about 5.5%. You get a little bit more HP, 1.5%. Uh, now, I know that defense is not that great, but you get 20% defense from the Coronet, total defense. So it's all in range. Like I said, you can play around with your talents. You can play around with your the rest of your gear to balance your, your stats. If you want this in the mix, the difference is that you need basically nearly three times, two and a half times the rare to get a gold coronet. So you're going to get a gold coronet before you get a gold bumble elm. That's definitely going to happen. But but um, so when you get that, you can look at you can look at this. To me, it's on par. Basically, whatever you gain from the defense, um, it, it's it's not even no. No, I, I retract that. The attack, the extra attack and the extra HP, even though it's only 1.5% HP, it's going to be better than what you gain from the 20% defense. Not by much, but it's going to be better. I would say that the total defense of 20% is probably equal to about 4 to... F between, like I would say between 2 and 5% attack. So just with this, uh, it does not even make it up for the 5.5% attack. And then you also have the one5 HP. So that is why the Bumble Elm just simply wins every time. It is the best piece of equipment. Uh, you can look at the, you can look at this like you can look at uh, the at blue grade. You can look at it at green. Obviously, if, if if you're at green grade, you're probably like just started playing. But at the blue grade, you're if you're free to play, it's gonna be something that you're gonna have like at the one to two ear mark, and then purple is gonna be like from two to three four five well five if you're really slow but uh you're gonna get it to gold eventually but yes yeah, for free to play it's gonna be way 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 slower than pay to play um if you're looking at the beast elm versus the bumble bm bumble elm and you got lucky and you got um lots of gold rares from the beast elm the beast elm one grade above is always gonna beat uh the bumble elm so if you're talking about so we looked at this like 35 and then 28.5 percent so if you look at a blue bumble elm uh you're gonna get seven percent more attack with the purple beast elm and you're gonna get about is it about the same Yes, about this and like 0.3% more HP. So it's still going to win, but um, yeah, one grade above the Beast Elm is better. Otherwise, it's the Bumble Elm. So that's why you guys want to have the Queen Bee Bumble Elm in your mix set. It is just the best piece of equipment that is not champion. Uh, and that is not <sighs> the, the Serpent Gladiator. I. I don't think I don't think that the Serpent Gladiator with with the defense is better. So, and a lot of people will say that it's not better. Um, <laughs> I just don't know. I I know that there's a ratio. I don't know what's the exact ratio, uh, but that's why at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to get the Bumblebee Elm. Uh, the Bumble Elm, I keep saying Bumblebee Elm, but the Bumble Elm um, to blue and then purple and then gold. It is just the best piece of equipment at this in this slot for Mixit. Now, this is the first video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have the Bumble Elm. Are you prioritizing that? Did you make the mistake of like splitting your rares and building the other piece of equipment on the Queen Bee uh, set? Um, are you free to play? Are you pay to play? Uh, we're going to do basically this analysis with every single piece of level 60 so the beast down the coronet i'm gonna do one separately uh on the armor i'm gonna do the terror shield the firewall plate it's gonna be interesting to talk about these two by the way uh we're gonna do the beastly breastplate i think that's it i might uh is there any yet yeah, there's nothing else in the level 60 probably gonna talk about some of the other piece of equipment also that we can build from smaller sets uh but mostly going to be the 60s so i'd love uh, the the boots are going to be the belt gargantuan belt the dragon style and the storm tassets uh 
probably gonna skip the blizzard plan blizzard pens because the arctic flipper is really also really hard to level up um uh, we're going to talk about the Untamed Boots, though, uh, when we're going to talk about the Gargantua Bell. That's going to be interesting. The main end, we're going to talk about the Frostwing Greatsword, obviously. Lots of people have it. And a lot of good players also <laughs> have the Skull Crusher. So Team Skull Crusher, guys, we're going to talk about this one again. Uh, Ghastly Cane, Eon Axe, uh, definitely going to talk about those. Uh, we're going to talk about the Winter Myths on the Offen, the Codex. Uh, the boomerang, the eerie lantern, the spirit axe, uh, and we're gonna t we're gonna compare those to the like the dark ages, the dragon's fist, the switchblade, call of the deep. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. And then the accessory is gonna be where it's gonna be at: the blight ring, the ambrosial ambrosial cup. Uh, we're gonna talk about the rowdy resolve, the book of the dead, uh, and then. We're definitely going to talk about the Worm Seal, the Burning Scroll, the Dragon uh, Iris, Iris, the Terror Vial, the Fear Drum, uh, because I know a lot, especially the Burning Scroll. Uh, this is going to be interesting. That's the scoop. Whenever we get there, guys, uh, <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of comments. So that's going to be it for this video. That, that was the first one uh, in uh, the basically the mix set analysis the gears analysis so let me know in the comments below do you guys have the bubble elm um <laughs> did you make the mistake of of building the other piece of equipment like i did uh for i think i did this guy yes i did this guy all the way to purple and i i regret that and but we're gonna talk about it when we get to the armor so all right guys that's about it thanks for watching and see you later